Howdy guys, I am back in the Banner Saga. I left you off last time with a defeat, unfortunately, against um, Bellower here. I tried it a couple of more times. I was really having a lot of difficulty with this fight, so I actually turned the difficulty down. And, I mean, like, the difference between difficulties is uh, just ridiculous. It went from... I mean, like, from easy, like, it, it got way easier turning the difficulty down. It is a lot easier now. Like, there were only one of the big guys in the first fight, and then he only had two additional units in this one, so it was way, way easier. And I'm about to serve up the death blow on him, so let's see what happens when Bellower dies. Uh, he, Alette's dead too, unfortunately, though, so... Is this worth it? I'm not sure. Okay, so... What happened? Oh, there it goes. I was like, so what happens? Alright, here we go. I'm... Okay. Alette! No! Not her! Where are the menders? Rook. She is beyond their help. Stand up. You're only barely aware of the surrounding chaos as Dredge flee from Varl warriors who push their advantage. Bellower is dead, for now. You are not. We must go. And remember we learned from Juno that Bellower isn't actually dead. Ivor thinks Bellower is dead, but Rook and Juno know better, right? Let me carry a let to Boar's guard. We'll honor her properly. How are you going to carry her with one arm, buddy? So Alette really got crushed by Bellower. Which is why... Man. Uh, Juno was right. With Bellower fallen, the dredge flee the field of battle. You return to Boar's guard, but have almost no memory of doing so, aside from the image of Alette's still body being carried in Ivor's arms. I like how they say arms. He's down to one arm and being carried in Ivor's arm. Like, he had to throw her over his shoulder like a sack of potatoes, because I'm not sure how he carried her with the one arm. Man, so, I guess uh, I had to make a choice between... Rook and Alette dying, and I guess I picked Alette, and I wish I hadn't. I wish I could go back and pick Rook instead of Alette to shoot the arrow. I really thought that she was going to be immune to death since she already had a brush of debt with death. Strangely, our morale improved. But yeah, look, the um, dredge all look like they're scattering or whatever. Ugh, I'm bombed. Well... Uh, nothing really to do, so let's go over here to Ivan and see what the next thing to do is. So we should have the time we need to finish the ships. I think you're right. The dredge don't seem interested in us anymore. Since Bellower fell, they've been going their own way. The ravens have been keeping the docks clear. Juno's talking to them about something now. When those long ships are ready, we'll be able to sail all the way to Arborang. With luck, before the darkness shows up here. How far south has it spread? Couldn't I couldn't say. Hopefully not far. We'll get the prince back to his home, and Hacken has already decided to come with us. There's not much else to go back to. The two look up as you approach. Rook, it's time. Soon we'll be ready to leave Boar's Guard. Find somewhere safe. One ship is done already. At the docks. I had it prepared for Halette. I'm not ready to see this. Come, Rook. It's time to honor your daughter. Oh man, I'm gonna cry. I really. I've... I 
I wish I hadn't picked that. I want to go back and change my choice. You know, she was young. She didn't even get a chance. And now they're gonna, I guess, burn her body or whatever, which is a complete waste of a boat, if you ask me, but... Really? I wish I could do this differently. Oh, that's really gone, huh? I just... Man, this is getting to me. <laughs> So this is, I guess, her crossing into the afterlife here. Oh, poor Alette. I chose this. This is a choice I made. And I hate it. You know, maybe... Maybe it's better this way. I mean, Alette doesn't need to be living in this terrible world. You know, it's like... She gets to move on to the beautiful afterlife. Look how pretty it is. You know, maybe this is better than having to live in a place where the sun is permanently up and filled with dredge and a weird serpent. So that was it. That was the Banner Saga. I guess that really was it. I thought that there might be more after that, but that was the end. That was the final fight. Um, well, gosh, I, um, I don't know what to say. Um, I hate that this ended in Alette's death. But I, I kind of, I, there's a lot that um, didn't get answered. We never found out what was going on with the serpent that we saw. Um, honestly, I feel like the game kind of ended abruptly here. I, um, I didn't realize that that was going to be the end. I thought there was still going to be more to take care of. So, um, oh shoot, you know, I'm, I'm sorry guys, I guess this is going to be kind of a short episode, I didn't realize that this was the very end of the game, I feel really bad now, I, um, if I'd known better, I would have uh, planned this a bit differently. I thought there was still a lot to take care of. You know, we, you know, my team was sitting here talking about moving on to, um, you know, get Luden back to where he needed to be. I just, I feel like this is only half the story, and we, we still don't have answers for the serpent that we saw, and I thought that, um, we would do something with that, and we didn't. Um, geez, guys, I really thought that there would be more to this. I, I hate, I mean, I like the game, but I feel, honestly, I feel a little disappointed. I under, I know there's a sequel, Banner Saga 2, so I guess we see more of Juno and the Serpent in the second Banner Saga game, and there's a third one that got kickstarted, so, um, I do not own Banner Saga 2, so I'm not going to be playing that at least for a while. I um, I might play it eventually if I can catch it on sale. I don't pay full price for games if I can help it. I like to get them in bundles and, um, you know, for whenever, you know, Steam has their summer and Christmas sale. So I'll probably um, pick up the second one at some point and uh, figure out where this goes. Um, like I said, I feel like there's so much more that we didn't see. Um, 
I didn't realize that, you know, my characters are capped out at level 5. I really thought the game was going to be much bigger, especially when you look at the map. There's so many places. So for it to end here, I mean, I figured the story was kind of winding down, but I wasn't expecting it to end right now. I thought it was going to be quite a bit longer. And I got, like I say, I'm kind of, I'm a little disappointed in the length of the game. I feel like it opened up a bunch it gave you a bunch of questions, but not really a lot of answers, and, you know, I don't feel happy with the ending, because I don't know if it was my own choices that caused the game to end this way. I mean, maybe maybe the choices you make impacts the story more than I thought. Oh, I guess I can scroll through this. Sorry, guys, I'm just leaving it here. Um, I'm guessing, so you're... It, you're, maybe maybe there was more that could have been answered. Maybe if I'd waited on Juno or something. I don't know. Let's let's see what this loads into. See if there's any afterwards. No, nope, that that was it. Alrighty, so I guess that was the Banner Saga. Thank you guys so much for watching me play. I really do appreciate you for sticking through this all the way to the end. And I'm sorry about this jumbled mess of a final episode. So, um, yeah, I'll be done now. Thanks again for watching, and, you know, bye for now.